Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the introduction to data structures. So in that we have seen uh, the two different types of data structures. One is a primitive data structures and the non-primitive data structures. So we have already seen the primitive data structures that is a primitive data types in C language. Now we will focus on non-primitive data structures. So in that non-primitive data structures also, it is categorized into two categories, right? So one is non-linear and the another one is a linear. So in the linear data structures, we have seen that all the elements are organized in a sequential order. So the best example for this linear data structure is arrays. Right? So arrays, stacks, queues, linked list, all these comes under the linear data structures. So in that, we will see one by one. In today's session, we will start with arrays. So this arrays concept is already covered in our C language. So, so just we will revise the concept of array. So here the array is a collection of elements which of which is of a similar data type. Right? So, so we can store a multiple number of elements under the same name that is called array that we have seen in the previous sessions. Right. So now here how the memory is organized for the array elements. So here the memory is occupied in a continuous way. Right. So the elements will be organized in a continuous memory locations. And also there are different operations we can perform on arrays. So first one is so we have seen the basic operations that, that can be performed on these data structures in the previous session that is first one is uh, like searching so we have already seen the searching algorithms on array elements so in that searching we have covered the linear search and the binary search another one is sorting this is also a very important operation that can be performed on arrays so here also we have seen bubble sort right uh, merge sort selection sort right so there are different uh, sorting techniques so those we have covered and then insertion that means insert inserting an element into an existing array this is also we have seen and the deletion so this is deleting an element from the existing array so this operation also we have seen see so all these are the basic operations that can be performed on data structures. So I will provide the links of all these videos in the de description. Right. Now we will see. So I don't want to repeat everything. Just I will give you the links in the description section so that you just go through and you, you just follow that. So after these operations, there is a sort of uh, advantages and the limitations of using these arrays. Now we will see those advantages and disadvantages. First we will go with the advantages. So what are the advantages of using arrays? Advantages of using arrays. So first one, it consists of similar data elements. So this is one of the advantages, sorry. It consists of similar data type elements. So n number of elements can be stored in a single name. Next, so we can access any element. So we can access any element in the array with the help of index value. So with the help of index value. Right? That's why we are using the index. Right? So this is one of the advantages. We can access any element, any element based upon the index value we can retrieve. Next. It is suitable when the number of elements 
और आवनी नोम सो बिफोर अप्लाइंग द अलगर्दन्स और बिफोर अप्लाइंग द एप्लीकेशन बिफोर यूजिंग दिस एरेस सो वी हैव टू नो द नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट दिस एरे कैन बी यूज्ड सो देन ओनली दिस इज सुटेबल राइट नेक्स्ट अनदर मेजर एडवांटेज इज दिस इज यूज्ड इन implementation of the other linear data structures like stacks and queues but not the list right so these are the simple advantages over using these arrays and there are also the limitations of using these arrays see we will see the limitations what are the limitations so we'll just arrays this one advantages similar data type elements and one advantage is random access so we can access any element from the array that is with the help of index value right and when it is suitable whenever we know the number of elements that array should have if if we know that the number of elements then only these arrays are suitable next disadvantages disadvantages so there are number of disadvantages over using these arrays so first one is this is the major disadvantage of using arrays static memory allocation static memory allocation that means during the compile time itself we have to specify the size of the array so at the compile time itself we have to specify the size of array and there is no possibility to change the size of an array during the run time right so that means if the array is declared as a 10 elements if the array is declared as 10 elements there is no possible to increase the size there is no possible to increase the size and if the array is initialized with a more number of elements and we, if we are using only the 10 elements if 10 elements are used then memory of 90 elements is wasted right yes so if we declare array with the maximum size and if we are using only a few elements then the remaining elements the memory occupied for the remaining elements is wastage the memory is wasted so this is all about the static memory allocation because of static memory allocation so uh, during the compile time itself we have to specify the size of the array uh, uh, during the runtime we can't modify the size of array right next the second drawback the second drawback is insertion and deletion this is the another drawback so insert inserting an element and the deletion of element is expensive expensive means it requires a more complex uh, i mean loops it involves in more complex so let's see if we use this insertion let us take a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 a of 3 and a of 4 right so here if you insert an element, let it be 10, 20, 30, 40, and a 50. And if you insert 5 at A of 0, first of all, we have to move, see, A of 0, A of 1, A of 2, A of 3, a of 4 and a of 5 right so let it be a of 5 first we have to move every element towards its right position so this element should be moved 
here this element should be moved here this element should be moved here this element and similarly this element so 10 will be moved here 20 30 40 50 and finally 5 should be inserted here so this is the process to be done if you want to insert an element at the beginning so it is somewhat expensive it it takes the some more time so in terms the expensive in terms means time taken time complexity right now coming to the deletion deletion right so this is all about insertion see right so if you delete 10 if you delete the 10 right if you delete the 10 now see you have to move everything towards its left you have to move everything towards its left so so 20 will be moved to f0 30 will be moved to f1 40 will be moved to f2 and similarly 50 will be moved to f3 right here we are not deleting the elements just we are moving the elements that is the main drawback of arrays so we are not removing the memory space here the memory occupied by the fourth index and fifth index are wasted right so that is the main drawback of this arrays so what is the static memory allocation another one is this insertion and deletion the wastage of memory is more right and uh, due to these disadvantages we are not implementing the list concept by using these arrays so we will use the we will implement the list concept using the linked list right so hope you understood the advantages and disadvantages over these arrays and uh, once again i am saying that uh, we have seen all the operations of arrays that means searching sorting uh, insertion and deletion so I will provide the links of those videos in the description section just to go through that and uh, mainly these are the disadvantages and advantages over arrays. So we will stop here in the next session we will go with the implementation of linked list right. So if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions and if you are having any doubts regarding this arrays concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. So that definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for listening. Thank you very much.